Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see how to implement this custom matcher, what we have learned in the previous video. Now, if you try to open this calculator.spec.js file, now we will try to create our own custom matcher. Up to now, we have seen the built-in matchers, predefined matchers that are available in the Jasmine. We have seen something like two equal to B, and these are all the matchers we have learned. So many matchers we have learned, right? Now let's try to implement our own custom matcher. So what is the matcher? What I will be trying to create is whatever the value sent through the expect expect method. We need to check whether it is an instance of the calculator or not. So something like what I can say is expect of calculator. I am passing the object of the calculator, and I need to have I need to create a matcher in such a way that to be calculator. So whether it is a calculator or not, I want to check it. So this this is the matcher I want to create. So to be calculated, the matcher is will not be present in the Jasmine. So now we have to create our own so that that matcher, what it will try to do is whether the value that is passed through the expect method is an instance of the calculator or not. It will try to check it. So now let's try to create our own custom matcher. So in order to create our own custom matcher, what we need to do is we need to create a new file with the name custom matcher, whatever the name you want, you can create it. So you can create something like to be calculator or something like that. Anything you want to create, you can create it. So for the time being, what I will try to do is I will create custom matcher. Okay. So custom matcher dot js. Now here I will be using where constant or where anything. So custom matcher. So here this one is an object. Okay. Custom matcher is an object. And now this custom matcher, what it will contain is. So it will contain first whatever the matcher, what is the name of the matcher you want to create. You will be, you will be creating here. So now the name of the custom matcher is so to be calculator. Okay. So to be calculator is a function. So to be calculator is a function. And what we have discussed. So the to be calculator is a function. Now we have created here the to be calculator function in the custom matchers we have implemented. So tomorrow if you want to create another custom matcher means you can use something like uh, to be um, age or something like that. You can create another function and you can do it. So first we will create to be calculator and we'll see how what what will be the implementation inside the to be calculator. Now what we what we have discussed so this to be calculator the custom matcher what we are trying to create it should return an object. Okay, fine. So let's return object. And in this object what we need to have so the property we need to have is the compare. The compare property it is a function. Okay, fine. So let's try to create a compare and it is a function. So we have created a function. And also another thing what we have discussed, the thing is compare function. So we have created and this function takes the two arguments. First one is an actual actual value, the value which is passed into the expected method. And another one is an expected value that is nothing but the value that is passed in the matcher. So let's try to add it. So if you want, you can add it or otherwise you can leave it. So just I am trying to show you what are the values it will be having. So now that's it. So here, what is the thing we have created? The custom matcher, we have created an object. In this object, we will be having all the list of custom matchers. The first matcher what you are trying to create is a to be calculator and this to be calculator is a function which returns an object in in this object we will be having a property with the name compare in return this compare is a function which has the two values actual and the expected. So now here this compare method what we need to uh, what we need to return in return it need to return if he in read to return again an object so which contains the property pass and a message. So let's create a variable constant result is equal to it is a it is a object and it contains pass true or false something like what we will keep it as a false and the message it consists of a message. So now we need to return this result. That's it. So now what I have did I have created a compare function actually expected and in this one I have created an object which contains the property pass and the message and I am returning the result. That's it. So now when need to when this one need to be passed need to be true or false we need to decide so we need to override here in between this one i need to write the logic and i need to pass that result i need to return that result so let's try to write it so now when this pass need to be true so when the actual value is an instance of the calculator here the actual value means nothing but the expect the whatever the value passed through the expected so this calculator when it is an instance of the calculator only the pass should be true otherwise it should be false so now what i can do if Actual actual means nothing but the value is an instance of it's an instance of calculator. If it is an instance of calculator means then I can do result dot pass is equal to true. So this is true and I can uh, what I need to do. So result dot pass is equal to false. That's it. 
so now let's try to do it so here we have used this to be calculator and now we have we have written the implementation of this to be calculate to be calculator so what is this one it is a function return it returns an object and again in this object we have a property of compare of again it is a function and this compare returns again an object which contains properties pass and message so we'll see about this message also first we need to we need to make it the pass true or false so when when that matcher need to be uh, spec need to be success or uh, fi failure so it depends on this pass property if it is true means then the expectation is passed if it is false means the expectation is failed so now here we have created a calculator dot to be calculator let's try to execute it so if you go into this one and if i try to refresh it here you will be able to see that to be calculator is not a function yes so to be cal why because so we are simply using this to be calculator we have not registered this custom custom matcher so how we have how we need to register this custom matcher i have already told you so jasmine dot add matchers and you can use this custom matcher here so this is the custom matcher that's it right so now we have created custom matcher and now let's try to do it and here it is telling that custom matcher is not defined so what could be the reason so that reason is nothing but in the spec runner dot html we need to add the custom matcher okay custom matcher that's it finish we have added the script file here and we are we have registered this custom matcher and also in the custom matcher we have we have implemented this to be calculator matcher also so now let's try to see it so if you try to see see this uh, calculator the spec has been successfully passed so where we have written this one should be an instance in this in this one we have created a uh, what i can say is our custom matcher now let's try to pass the total so whether this calculator dot total is an instance of the calculator or not so calculator dot total is not an instance of the calculator it is a numeric value see number so let's try to see it now immediately it has thrown an error that expected 10 to be calculator so it is showing it is trying to show the message that custom message it is trying to show that jasmine is trying to show preparing by it won't so if you want to show your custom message so if you want to show your custom message now this message property will come into the picture so now the message property you need to show your predefined so user defined message you want to show it so how can i do here so when this one will be failed so here when the pass is false only then that that will be failed so now here you can frame the message that result dot message is equal to and here sorry so if you want you can write lila web dev or something i want to show you the custom message so it will be now if you try to see here see you are able to see the custom message whatever the custom message you are trying to pass it is trying to show it here now what i can do is so here i can do something like so expected okay dollar actual to be instance of calculator so we will be writing like this now if you try to see the uh, the thing so expected 10 to be instance of calculator so now we are able to understand that okay the value which we are trying to see it should be an instance of the calculator so we are able to understand this one so this is how message comes into the picture and also another thing if you want to use the not also we have learned about this negating matcher also so we can use this not to anything to any matcher we can use this not now we need to check that calculator dot total not is not to be a calculator instance yeah it's correct so it is calculator dot total is not an instance of calculator so if you try to see now the spec is passed now if you try to pass this one calculator dot calculator now we are passing the exact instance of the calculator and we are not we are checking that it should not be an instance of calculator now if you try to see here so here you will be able to see the message so again we have the spec has been failed why because the in, we have passed an instance and we are trying to check the uh, it should not be an instance of the calculator now here if you want to do the uh, customized message you can also do it where we need to do it here in this scenario we need to do uh, pass is equal to why because it is a negating matcher so this message will be displayed whenever we are using not so now here not to be instance so not to be instance of calculator now if you try to see see here expected object object we need to serialize this uh, what i can say the constructor so not to be an instance of calculator so this is how we will be creating the custom matcher so over here what we have did up to now so we have registered the custom matcher and we have used this not and also this one also we have used it and here in the custom matcher we have created to be calculator this is our custom matcher it is a function and it returns it returns an object in this object again it contains a compare which is a function and in return this compare function returns an object which contains a pass and a message property 
So this pass property depends that whether the matcher has to pass or fail. So this one we should return boolean value whether true or false and the message is nothing but whenever the spec is failed so it will be showing your user defined whatever the message you are trying to send it will show it in the jasmine spec failure. So this is about the custom matcher. Hope you understood about how to create a custom matcher and how to implement the custom matcher and also how to register this custom matcher also you are able to understand right. So hope you understood about this one. If you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.